Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash of Clans today. Very excited to bring you a, a really good attacker from Battle Elite, part of our alliance, French. He's an awesome guy. Can't wait to share his advice and tips specifically about attacking ring bases at Town Hall 11, although he does give some tips for Town Hall 10 as well. So hey, without further ado, let's get to the interview. All right, guys, I am here with French. French, thanks so much for coming on, man. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem. It's a pleasure. It's been a while since I've done one of these uh, expert interviews, and you're certainly renowned for your skill on attacking uh, specifically ring bases, but pretty much every base. You're a really good and attacker. And before we get started, can you just go ahead and give a little synopsis on this base, kind of uh, base number eight here. Let me pull it up. Kind of against a base like this, which is such a popular trophy base design, like how do you dissect a base like this and consistently get these three stars? Because you know what, you could, sometimes you have your list of objectives and you think you know what you're doing and things just go crazy mid-raid. So help us break this down. Like what is your philosophy to consistently get three stars against a base like this? Sure. Uh, I don't know about consistently get three. That's <laughs> definitely the the objective or uh, the objective is usually two star. But, um, you know, if mm -hmm. you get three, that's definitely a big bonus. Um, you know, the biggest thing is you, you want to take care of the high threat targets. So in this base, um, the, the, the clan castle, you know, a lot of um, enemies are putting in air troops in their clan castle and it's causing a lot of problems, especially when you've got miners or bowlers. And, you know, if you just got a couple poisoned and nothing to shoot air, which is often the case, um, you, you can't take care of them and they just ruin your raid. So, so I decided to, um, yeah. so, so like, obviously, to I hate to yet. use the, F yeah, well, yeah. If you want to go yes, ahead, let's do it. Part of this. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to hit play now. So I start here with the queen walk and what I'm trying to do here is just charge, charge her in and draw that CC out. Um, you might note that I start, um, with a few miners and the, the purpose of that is to make sure that those wall breakers, you don't have a wall breaker fail. That will absolutely ruin you, especially um, in my case, because I didn't bring any jump spells. Um, you know, make sure you get that that rage in early. I'm watching her charge in now. Yep, um, yep. So that's the right side. Um, I kind of, you know, a lot of point defenses were hitting her. She got a little bit low, but I knew, um, you know, it, she wasn't dropping too fast. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I waited for that tr uh, clan castle to trigger and then um, you can see on the left side now I've got my king going in on the left. Um, now I did kind of have a wall break failed there, but that's okay. Um, I followed him with some Valkyries and uh, wizards just to, you know, not a lot for Valkyries, just to make sure that um, was cleared. So we pause it right now. Mm -hmm. I'm at about 150. Um, yep. You can see there's nowhere for those miners to go. At that point, I dropped the Grand Warden. I dropped all the miners. You can see there's just a gold storage and the, the um, air defense right there. So they have nowhere else to go except for the center. So I'm going to hit play now. Um, so now they're they're charging in. Got eagle artillery hitting nothing, which is great. And actually right now my, my Grand Warden is out of range. One thing to do is make sure you do not panic. Um, wait until he gets in range of your troops and then hit it. Um, also, there was nothing really threatening them. I had a rage. I had a heal on them. Um, they quickly took care of the core. Um, the Eagle Artillery wasn't coming down until I hit the tome, so that was great. Um, I'm going to pause it right here mm -hmm. at about 120. Yep. Um, and after the core is cleared, if you're going for three, right now we're at, I'm at 50% two star. So mm -hmm. we're all, you know, I'm concerned the job is done. Um, but right at the after the center they're going to scatter most likely you can see some dropping off to the right yeah but the grand warden is going to stay with the bulk of the troops so they all go to left so i just ignore the troops on the right even though i had a rage and a heal left so i hit play now um you can see them going to the left my queen is still alive um kind of got a little bit lucky with her uh, because i still have my healers up so i had plenty of uh miners on the left side to to go around and finish off this base uh, the queen takes care of those uh, that air trap. Uh, I dropped a poison there. I didn't probably didn't need it, but you know I, I just wanted to be safe. Sure. And um, you know you can see I've got plenty of miners left. Not really big threats, you know, left to take care of. Uh, I'm just going to put it at two speed now. Mm -hmm. uh, get through this. Cause pretty much at this point, I know the raid's over. I know yeah. I've got two healers up. My my queen is almost full health now. I've got probably you know a, couple, a dozen miners at least left. So I just rage. 
um, get through it real quick. And um, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. So you you made it. You did a good job there. You really you should, you should start your own YouTube channel, French. I don't know. You you really uh, broke that attack down, man. Uh, <laughs> so a couple questions uh, before we move sure. on real quickly here. Uh, if I I'm just gonna hit play again, just kind of walk us through the very beginning here. So now let's pretend it's a different type of ring base. We'll look at a couple others in just a second here. But if it was a different mm -hmm. type of base, are you always just is your number one goal with the queen on your attacks to engage that clan castle as as best possible? Uh, with as little troops as possible, basically, or does yeah, it change you know, depending on the base? And, you know, with just four healers and the queen, I mean, if you can take care of the clan castle and knock out 15, 20% of the base, I mean, that is, that's huge. Um, you know, I, I didn't shoot for the eagle artillery because, um, you know, that, that was one side I could have gone on, but, you know, that's getting a little bit close to the, the um, there's an inferno there, and I'm really more concerned about the CC when it comes to, especially miners, because um, they can't shoot above them. And poison, the problem with miners is they go underground. And when you they go underground, those minions scatter. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, you can't you can't kill them if they're scattering. And you know, they'll just go around it and then follow it all around and, and you know it'll it'll totally ruin your rate. So that's why I place a high priority on uh, the clan castle. I'm not too worried about infernos when it comes to rings, um, because usually you can, you know, they're they're gonna either go around in a circle or crush it in the core. And you can usually take care of them pretty quick without, you know, suffering too much damage. So, yeah, I would yeah. say definitely the, the clan castle, um, especially when, you know, if there's air um, even, or even ground. I mean, a golem will definitely ruin your raid. Um, and if you can take care of that with the queen, it takes a little bit longer. But mm -hmm. um, that's definitely beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. Especially those golems. I mean, it feels like more and more people are putting the golems in the clan castle. So it's definitely really important that you engage that clan castle with your with your queen or your kill squad before your miners hit that golem. Because I think I know from experience that a golem has ruined my mass miner raid or my boner attack uh, more often than I'd, I'd like to admit. So definitely, uh, definitely a good tip there. Uh, in terms of the troops that you use with your barbarian king, I noticed you use Valkyries and a bunch of wizards. Mm -hmm. Uh, you devoted a lot of troops to taking out the enemy queen and creating that side of the funnel. Is that what you normally do in terms of the wizards and the Valkyrie as opposed to say like a lot of people would have probably used bowlers and maybe even a rage spell there? Uh, how do you feel yeah. about that troop selection? Or... Yeah, you know, I've used bowlers before plenty of times and it works fine. Um, you know, I was kind of experimenting, honestly. I mean, I hate to experiment on war attacks, but mm -hmm. I, was, I was confident that, you know, eight wizards, they, they really do a lot of damage if you can keep them safe. And yep. with the Valkyries, um, they're fast and they move ahead, so they're going to take the damage. You don't really need to, I, I mean, it looked like I invested a lot, but it, it, I didn't feel like it was too much troop space to get um, that funnel on the left side created. Um, you know, it's really just about making a, you know, maybe an 8 to 10 tile uh, gap in that ring. And that way, you, you, all, all I'm trying to do is get my my miners to the core, you know, because in these these bases are designed to, you know, make you get one star, you know, to protect. The absolutely. Power. Absolutely. And so, so if you can, you know, all I was trying to do is get to the core, kill it quickly. And, uh, you know, if I get a three star, awesome. But, you know, the main goal was just to get two, so we don't have, you know, other people in our clan trialing, trying and failing, you know, we don't need six attacks on it to try to get, you know, two stars. Absolutely. It is now, uh, well, would you mind, do you have time to talk us through your attack on 13 real quick? Another three star attack? Sure. Awesome. Sure. And uh, and while kind of while you're setting the table on this base, could you also mention maybe a, a tip or two for Town Hall tens against ring bases at Town Hall ten? Kind of you know obviously they don't have the Grand Warden, so what you do to kind of compensate for that? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that you can do the same approach. Um, keep in mind the the level of your queen. Um, you know if you don't have, I think for Town Hall ten at least a level. I would say 25 at least, definitely 30 or above. Um, it's going to be very difficult to to get the value out of her um, in that walk, unless you know. It, I guess you could make it go a little bit longer, but um, you know, if you have to pop that ability and then you don't actually pull the castle or something else goes haywire, it can you know, then you're you're really screwed. You make good zero. Um, mm -hmm. But but I would take the same approach, and I mean, you can easily get bowlers in a clan castle. Uh, max bowlers and send the king on another side. Um, I've used a jump spell before um, to, to get him in instead of lawbreakers. Yeah, like that. I, I kind of failed on that last one. But <laughs> don't be don't be afraid to pop his ability early to get him through that wall um, because you're really just trying to, like I said, just create a gap in the ring 
Um, so they have a clear path to the center. You could, um, if you don't get polars in the clan castle, you could get uh, max miners, which might be a better idea because they're a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. um, you get two levels out of it um, as a town hall 10, you know, from level two to four. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, send those to the center. And again, um, you know, use a rage and a, a heal that usually will get them through. But um, yeah, if you can, as a town hall 10, if you can use a queen to pull the, the CC and uh, get her in there, that would be ideal. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Uh, that was uh, definitely some good tips for Town Hall 10s, because I know you actually, when you joined our clan system, you were a Town Hall 10, and uh, that was another your, another uh, element of your bread and butter when you joined is the same type of thing as a Town Hall 10 hitting these ring bases. And now you've uh, graduated, but you're still having success, which is good. Uh, so on this attack on 13, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and press play. And the first thing I'd like you to, uh, to comment on, if you could, is... I know a lot of people prefer bringing three or four uh, heal spells, and you only mm -hmm. use two here and three rage. If you could just talk a little bit about why as we kind of start this raid out, that'd be awesome. Sure. Are you ready? Yep. We'll okay. go now. Okay. So so I brought three because, um, and again, I led with um, miners here. Just to the, the, the benefit of miners is they, they really cause defenses to hiccup. So it just buys you a little bit more time with the queen, um, as you can see, they, they went down. Um, it gives her a little bit more time to get in there. Again, it distracts them from the wall breakers. If you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really enjoy, uh, I really like put, putting miners down first just to kind of, you know, uh, give her a little bit of a buffer. Yeah, that's um, a great tip. So so the same same thing, you know, um, just, just got her in there. And the reason why I brought three rages is because um, I've got the healers. Um, you know, and you can't forget about the fact that possible they could switch off of the queen and get on the, the miners. Um, that's not ever really a part of my plan, but it is a possibility. And I really just wanted to have extra rages for the queen in case she got into trouble mm -hmm. and would walk to make sure that I, I just, like I said, it's all about priorities and those high risk, uh, high threat targets. And, and that's the, the clan castle to me. So I, you know, brought extra rages just to make, you know, if I have to use two on her for the walk, then I was totally fine with that. So um, that was kind of my reasoning behind that. Um, and then I kind of caught a break on 13. I'm, I'm still, it's still playing. I'm at about 130 now. Yep, um, me too. They're, they're just, yeah, they're just getting through the core here. Um, the, the, my funnel wasn't perfect and they started to go a little bit north and yep. to the, to the west, but, um, some skeletons kind of drew them back in there. Um, again, it's all about not panicking, making sure that you're patient with the tome, um, or, you know, watch out for, uh, the wizard towers, um, and, uh, you know, saving those heals and rages, you know, on this one, I, I, I kind of got lucky, but at the same time, I knew that my queen still had the, the healers on her. She was totally fine at the south. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, at this point, I hadn't used the ability. So um, I, I knew that this was going to be a win. You know, I was, you know, you can see the miners are kind of running into some trouble at the north there. Um, they're going to they're going to pretty much all die. I'm just going to have a few left. But uh, um, I knew with the healers on the queen and what was left of there, I, I was going to have no problem taking it out. Yeah, so, yeah, um, you, yeah, you can tell you definitely would have at least had the high percentage two star, at the very least, even if the miners had gone north, because they were all clumped up together pretty nicely anyway. So, uh, it was yeah. yeah, you were looking pretty good anyway. Uh, so I, I fast forward and ended the raid. Uh, okay. Could I just real quickly get your opinion on one more base before I let you go? If you take Absolutely. a quick look at number five, and uh, this is a little bit different because the inferno towers aren't in the center; it's just the town hall all by itself. So. Uh, with mm -hmm. your method, I'm assuming the town hall would be the very last structure down, or am I wrong? No, I, this one, it could be. Um, you know, I, I, and I mentioned to you earlier that, you know, for bases like this, I tend to do a little bit of a ring around the rosy, but mm -hmm. with this one, you know, especially if you're just trying for the two, um, I would do a similar approach and, and send in the queen and um, the healers and do a walk from right about that, the southernmost um, dark elixir drill, and, and have them... You know, if you need a baby dragon or something on the right side to, to clear or, I mean, I hate to say it, but even goblins, you can just send in a bunch of goblins and clear out those uh, storages on the right. Sure. Make sure that they don't go east because um, you want that walk to push to the left. And the same thing, I would bring three rages. Um, I would even trail the Grand Warden behind her because there are a lot of defenses in that, that section down there. Just have her sweep across to the left. Once that's taken care of, you could even send in the king in the, on the west by those army camps over there. Jump him in, um, send send in some bowlers, um, create a little funnel over there, and then um, again mass miner um, from you know south 
southwest side side and then you know after they take care of the clan castle they should go straight for that town hall if you're just going for the, the safe too Oh yeah, definitely a solid game plan, man. I think a lot of people don't account for both sides of the funnel, especially on these boner attacks. Like you can see here, I mean, a lot of people would take out the enemy queen and that inferno tower there looks really, really tempting to take out as well. You get a lot of value in that eastern corner of the base. But a lot of people do forget, like you mentioned, that you need to establish the other side of that minor funnel using the king on those type of raids if that's the strategy you're going for. So guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much, French. It's been a pleasure having you on man uh, i'd love to have you back on again maybe discuss some anti three star bases oh no i hate those, I those. <laughs> all right well we'll look for another expert for those then but it's been a pleasure man thank you so much for coming on absolutely thanks for having me it was a pleasure all right guys so there you have it that was french i hope you enjoyed that interview as much as i did i think he gave some really nice basic tips to help you guys three star these ring bases and now guys before i let you go let's go ahead and move on to the cwa community cork board hey ash i am shub guru from war challengers indian clan i am also from india my question is that is Queen Walk still a viable strategy after Healer got nerfed for Town Hall 9s? Hey Shuguru and shout out to your clan the War Challengers. Thanks for your question to answer it. Uh, very simple yes, Queen Walk is definitely still viable at Town Hall 9, 10 and 11. It's a little bit more difficult because of the buff to cannons uh, even more so than the air traps triggering onto healers. So uh, you can mitigate for that by bringing an extra healer, bringing 5 to a raid as opposed to 4. It gives you a little bit of backup or you can just go ahead and plan a raid spell kind of like French talked about in uh, today's episode you can plan on using a rage spell on your queen walk if you need to so bring an extra raid and you can either use it on your queen walk or on your kill squad that way you're covered if things get a little dicey with the cannons so guys thank you for your questions keep them coming i'm getting a lot of them audio questions emailed to cwa base design at yahoo.com you can also give comments or shout outs doesn't have to be a question so guys thanks for watching all the way to the end special shout out to french battle elite in all of Elite Nation. Love you guys. This channel would not exist without you, so thank you so much for the continued support, and as always, take care, guys.